Welcome back to Nutrien Live. We're joined by Brad Cuss, the General Manager of Nutrien Water Engineering. Welcome, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us on. What have we got behind us? Um, so this unit's uh, an RO plant, so reverse osmosis. Um, it allows us to take uh, naturally any water source uh, after we've tested it, checked for its minerals, um, and use it. So we sort of recognise uh, a need in, in agriculture for spray water, uh, stock water, uh, mum's roses if you really want to want to look after the wife um, and um, it allows us to take the, the technology that we, we know from um, from mining and municipal supply uh, and bring it into the agriculture market so hey, it's a big state so there's no one size fits all and that's nah. uh, and that's the beauty of nutrient water engineering yeah. you go anywhere and fix any known water supply situation mate absolutely yeah so so we've got a team uh, we're, we're Perth based but we're mobile as well. So we've got a team that are happy to, to come on farm, uh, get out, meet and greet people, um, and really assess uh, what it is people are looking for, be it uh, you know, getting water out of the ground, uh, using you know, old dams or soaks or creeks, um, and making use of that water. Um, so yeah, we, we do our best to get out and about. Nutrient water, part of the nutrient business now, yep. uh, built from amalgamation of, uh, of, of, of legacy brands, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. you supply everything, don't you, in-house? Yeah, yeah. So, so our sort of tagline as a business, if it doesn't come in a box out of retail and it's water, it's us. Uh, so we, we really try and uh, you know, step outside of that box world. Um, we've got a big fabrication facility, we've got coated welders, we can do all of the, the base process all the way through fabrication, installation, commissioning. Uh, and then also maintenance as well. Yep, and while we're out there um, deselling the uh, the salty back down, uh, you'll also reticulate Mum's garden for us oh, and make sure those roses are You smick. bet, mate. Yeah, yeah, we'll look after the lawn and the roses without any problem, mate, yeah. Uh, tell me how this works, mate. Yep, so um, reverse osmosis, so um, it's not it's, it's desalination of a type, but we, we try and be strict on, on how we talk about it. So it is desalination through a reverse osmosis plant. Um, so essentially, this uh, this is set up uh, as it would be set up uh, on a farm essentially. So we've got a raw water tank here, which could be a, a windmill, it could be a dam, it could be anything. So at the moment we're treating this as our raw water. Um, we've got three sets of, of tertiary and primary filtration here. So we can remove ions, we can remove uh, odor, taste, tannin, um, and we can remove any suspended solids before we get into the reverse osmosis system. Which um, uh, speeds up the process of osmosis. Uh, no, it actually guarantees the longevity of the plant. Yep. So we've taken a slightly different approach there to, to try and maintain ongoing costs. Yep. Um, so filtration and then into the RO itself. So reverse osmosis, the cells are behind us here. Um, the water's pushed through there. Um, we have a waste stream, uh, which is what we call our brine line. Uh, and then we have what's called our permeate water. So that's our good usable drinking water. Um, this particular unit here will do 40,000 litres a day. Um, it's the smaller end for us. We do go a bit smaller than that, um, but a 40 kL plant as this uh, is a really good base for what we've found, you know, probably to be 80% of the, the ag people we've had the pleasure of, you know, helping. Um, once our water comes out, um, it's, it's through here, it's called permeate, and at the moment we're just storing a little thousand litre tank there. Um, but on farm, uh, you consider and you could supply obviously forty thousand of those to um Easy, to everyone mate. that um oh, yeah. to, to just pump it into I'll give every you ten day. litre box if you want, mate. <laughs> you can put it wherever you like. Yeah, no worries at all. Yeah. Um, so, how does it run? Power? Uh, yeah. So um, three modes basically. So it can run. Um, it's two forty volt, which is good. A lot of farms are two forty and four fifteen. Yep. Um, but this particular unit here is a two forty volt literal plug in. Um, we also have got a, a 6 kVA gen set, so it'll run on a 6 So it's not KVA. massive power um, cons consumers? No, no, they're really not now. Uh, early days, yes they were, they were huge, hungry, you know, power hungry beasts. Um, but now we've sort of got the technology down to a point where, you know, plug it into a wall, essentially. Um, so you can go diesel, you can go plug in, or uh, you can go solar. Yeah, so, so um, in the middle of nowhere you'll have a so solar solution as well. Yeah. Once again, all done in-house. Yeah, absolutely, yep. Hey, uh, you're taking your fascination with water the next step forward with the recent <laughs> Avon descent, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've, yeah. Um, you get your, your, your computer-aided design to get on your jet boat, oh, did you? Oh, mate, we did, yeah. It was a bit of a laugh, to be honest with you. Like, um, I, I've been in motorsport for a lot of years, and um, uh, doing the Avon was like the next bucket list, right? So a mate of mine, uh, who's actually a shipwright, uh, he's a bit of a character, we decided we'd have a crack and build a couple of boats, you know? And, uh, yeah, lo and behold, 
fair bit of negotiating in the background with all the relevant local governments and Shire and all them and everybody. And uh, yeah, bugging me dead if we didn't uh, end up putting two boats on the start line, mate. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah but I'm guessing it. you didn't use a Honda little four uh, two-stroke uh, engine. You might have whacked a V8 or something in there, did you? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it was actually a Yamaha power plant. Uh, so yeah, 110 horsepower, a uh, little three-cylinder inboard. Um, yeah, yummy. But anyway, we, we loved it and we're going back. And um, it was awesome to have nutrient uh, water on the boat. You know, I was I was really actually proud. I, I said to my decky, you know. Um, how cool it was, you know, we were sitting in car parks and stuff and people just come wandering up to us and they're like, oh buddy, what do you do? Oh, look at that. And they're sort of looking at the boat and start chatting to us. So it was bloody good. Yeah, it was, we really enjoyed it. And uh, just the reach and, and, and sort of crowd engagement was huge. So. Thanks for joining us today on Nutri Life. Thanks mate, appreciate the chat. Good on you.